Welcome back to Ultra Despair Girls Night 5. Almost 13 hours in. Level 41. Uh, last time we had done a heck of a lot. Beat Chapter 3. Uh, got a pretty big story chunk at the uh, start of Chapter 4. Learned about a bunch of different motivational sources and a whole bunch of stuff, really. Um, I guess most notably, Kamaru has... She had a way out of the city, and she decided not to. She decided to stay by Toko's side and um, wants to help the problem. I'm fed up with going to the subway. Didn't we already go there before? We should be going for something more like a woman's ultimate happiness. You could think about your marriage to Biakia later. Uh, I thought that was going to be a little more destructive than it was. Whoa, dude. A little lunge attack, dude. Toko, out of my fucking way, girl. I really like chaining those uh, nice shots into each other. Talk about dopamine. Tell me, what are you doing? Um, Kamaro got her wristband removed. So if we wanted to leave the city, we wouldn't blow up, like Yuta did. Could it be that the letters have something to do with the paths drawn here? Oh, you shit. Really pumped for this. There was a challenge treasure hunt thing that we got at the end of last episode. Oh shit. I think we're just gonna have to brute force our way through it. I think we're gonna have to tev our way through this puzzle. Because I don't remember what it said. And I don't think there's a way that we can access it. Pretty sure. You would think it would be in files, right? But no. Okay, whatever, dude. We'll brute force our way through it. So I guess these are the treasure chests. X, God, they were... I remember... I don't remember. Oh, that's right. Last time... We were confronted with some tougher subject matter. Some real horrific abuse stuff, and Danganronpa just presenting it in literally the worst possible way they could present it. What about the treasure hunt? Is the treasure hunt over? of bullet? This looks pretty useful. The fuck do you know, Toko? Yeah, you're right. It's not too late for a tutorial. It appears you have obtained burn. Burn is a truth bullet that, you know, burns off Monokuma's generator device. It has a high rate of fire, so it's perfect for shooting at enemies who move swiftly. It's downright awesome against those beast Monokumas. I think it would also be really good against enemies who are running straight at you. Go try it out. Okay. T. New type. That Monokuma is flying? Okay, we're getting pretty far from the whole bear concept here. 
achievement unlocked. Combat veteran, that's right. It's fucking right, dude. Should I just open all of these? Oh my god, I want to go every direction. L. I think it was something with an L and an X. I think, dude. Dude, it's all good. Because I don't remember what the fuck we're supposed to do. So what, we've seen four so far? I've opened two of them. Should I just open all of them, dude? Who cares? Who cares? The conductor's 48 hours. Is this more manga or light novel shit? Odoriko Anaka, famous as the genius conductor, is regarded by the world as perfect, talented, extraordinary, and beautiful. However, she has a secret that she keeps from them all. The pinnacle of lyrical sexual prose, a fluttering melody of suffering and sadism. <laughs> this novel seems pretty intense. Interested? So vulgar. E even with the S and S and N S and S and M bits, it's beneath me. It's probably just some sloppily written wish fulfillment fan fiction garbage. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's not going to be that bad. No, it's definitely going to be that bad. I can feel the lack of talent from here. Any book with a title this bad has to be just as bad on the inside. Um. Well, if the ultimate writing prodigy, prodigy says it, I'm sure it's true. <sighs> a tasty subject like S&M boiled down to this crap. A true masochist like me would do better. How did this even get published? They must really be getting desperate to put this out. Which reminds me. Hey, as a uh, um, true masochist, have you ever had that kind of experience? What, like being tied up or suspended? Th there's no way I do such indecent things. Hmm? But then how do you know you're a masochist if you've never done that stuff before? It's not like someone saying they love cigarettes but they've never smoked before. <laughs> you underestimate my imagination. Every spare moment I'm being stepped on, tied up, suspended by my master. In my head. <laughs> you sound pretty proud about that. But... but... That reminds me, one time, I was really tied up and suspended. Could it be? Huh? By Byakuya? No. No, I don't even remember his name now. It was when I was in third grade. Someone's lunch money got stolen and it somehow ended up in my desk. My classmates thought I did it, so they tied me up to the jungle gym with a garden hose. So cruel. That's horrible. You're right. At the time, I felt a tingling sensation. But I'm sure that's not related. Huh? No, that definitely sounds like a formative experience. Dude. Toka. I would like to hear a single book title that Toka wrote. You know, if she's out here being the most judgmental twat on the market. The fuck you whipping up, girl? Huh? What you got? What is this? T? I don't care. We're opening all of them. What the heck are you doing? I'm not thinking about it. That's what I'm doing. Oh, fuck off, dude. We haven't even burned anything yet. No drops. Where's the uh, one that I didn't grab? There she is. Or is it about opening these things in an order? What the heck are you doing? Like, is this a lost cause at this point? I do think to Toko's point, though, I was thinking about the imagination a lot today. The existence of the imagination. And what having an imagination actually allows you to do. There's this new terrain. Like, your imagination... 
isn't necessarily creating novelty. It can't. Is it still just a component of the brain? So it only has access to that which is available to the brain, i.e. that which you've experienced. So any air quotes novelty is actually, you know, at best, just some chimeric mm. amalgamation of other things that you have experienced. It's like the imagination can only ever approximate novelty, you know? It, it can't just spontaneously gen generate new things, you know? Like, how would that even be possible? Hmm. That's like, you know, like looking through a pile of wood that's only wood and you find a dildo in the middle of it. Like, there's no reason for that to be there. It's impossible for it to be there. It's just a stack of wood. So how do you get, how would you get to the same place in your brain? So I think the imagination is just really good at mixing up the components of the shit you know and the feelings that you have about the shit you know. Hmm. So it, it can approximate, if your brain creates something, air quotes, novel, it can also, also approximate how you might feel about the air quotes novelty. But it's still going to be only ever approximate. You know, it's only ever going to be approaching novelty. I just find that fascinating. Like, creativity can only ever be derivative. Or the alternative is, like, you're at, like, actual, like, divination or something. Like you're receiving ideas from some other mind beyond yourself. That's the only other alternative. I was just thinking hmm. that through. I got home from the work today and I just laid back on my couch and just talked about imagination out loud. Just trying to figure it out, you know? And I'm definitely not anywhere, I guess, meaningful yet, but it was just weird, weird thought today. Okay. I have a feeling there's a hint for this alphabet problem hidden in the map. Oh. Oh, there's a fuck ton of things. Hidden in the map? Like this map? A like transcript? Oh no. Wait, it might not be that far back. That's a shame. Why wouldn't they let me access this information again? Huh? We're just opening all of them. We're opening all of them. Uh, I messed up again. Hi. Just give it up already. No. I see a save point up ahead. Is this is this progress? No. What are the darker pink? What's the darker pink mean? What does that mean? Darker pink areas? About the children at night, there's only one thing I could tell for sure about taking the night shifts is look out. The children are all wearing those idiotic helmets. None of them look like they're sleeping, and I've never seen them eat either. Are they really human children? Isn't it possible that they're just mechanical dolls like Monokuma's? Well, regardless, whether they're humans or robots, they're devils in our eyes. The only difference is what liquid they bleed when we run them over. Thanks, trucker. Jesus Christ, how many kids did you run over? I hope you fucking sleep well at night. Piss safe. Oh, all this for just a dumb kid? Yeah, take it. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Jotaro. 
Fucking. Not yet. Can I not go to the left for some reason? Oh, this is the first area. Why am I getting so fucking turned around right now? Oh, oh, oh. Because I can't access this yet. I can't climb over this, right? Normally these have been indicating that this will be a throw fair at some point, but the story needs to give it to us first. Okay, we'll go through the alleyway. Oh, come on, dude. Such a touchy subject. Why is that touchy? Why is that touchy? Oh, good job, dude. Nice. We have yet to see the extent of the destroyer Monokumas. Back to the alley. Oh no, it's its own alley. Okay. Eagle boy, oh. So lingers the ocean. The love that is far too pure for the main character, me, and the fisherman, you. An indubitable foray into inner peace at the skillful stroke of a pen. Popular female author Toko Fukawa's most renowned work, the long-awaited unabridged version. So lingers the ocean, dude? That's pretentious as fuck. Yeah, again, did they think we, they made a whole new book cover for the English version? They had to, right? It was definitely written in Japanese. Ah, this is... What? That's right, it's my novel. Got a problem with that? Amazing! No, not at all. I'm really impressed. I've read this. It was sad and really good, too. I can't believe it. You were the writer of So Lingers. Don't mess with me! So lingers? You're abbreviating the title of a book I wrote to my face? And of course it's really good. Who do you think wrote it? <laughs> uh, as expected of the ultimate writing prodigy. Prodigy. You sure have confidence. But... But I mean, if you can write a beautiful romance like this, you can definitely marry Byaku, yeah? Are you an idiot? Don't be an idiot. 
what's written in, in there is pure fantasy. There's no way I can act like that in reality. Oh, really? Hmm. What I write in my novels is my idea of an ideal world. Because I know it will never be reality. I have to write it in fiction. Hmm? So you write it because you can't have it? But don't most writers write from experience? Nothing. Not necessarily. My theory is that happy people can only write happy, shallow novels. But the downtrodden can vividly imagine their ideal world, perfectly envision true beauty. And that's the spirit that I put into my novels. Hmm. Well, I kind of get that, but I kind of don't. Well... But based on my theory, I wonder if I can keep writing interesting novels. Hmm? Hmm? What do you mean? Like I said... But like I said, I'm concerned. If I have a friend like you and I'm happy... Could it be? So you mean making friends with me made you a little happier? What? Don't mess with me! No, there's no way a crybaby schoolgirl like you could actually interfere with my writing. You underestimate the intensity of my novels. Aww. Oh, but you said it yourself. <laughs> well, if you're that confident, I'm sure you'll be just fine. I wonder how true that is. As an extension of what I was talking about earlier with the imagination. Is the product of the imagination more moving? Is it potentially more moving than reality could ever be? I'm gonna argue no. I'm gonna argue no. But I... definitely resonate with her point about... not necessarily the downtrodden, but I would say maybe the more self-aware of people who feel emotion more deeply. Um, only they are capable of creating good things. I agree. I think happy people do generally make very shallow pieces of art, and I don't mean to generalize, like, truly. Um, but, like, what version of antagonism could you, could you possibly depict in a story if you categorize yourself as a generally happy person? Like, the scope of hell that a writer can put into their book if they are a chronic sufferer of existence, it's gonna be hmm. more affecting than what a generally happy person could ever com come up with, because they don't know the depths of it. And obviously I'm wondering now if, like, the protagonistic force in a novel could ever come from a sufferer, maybe like a capital S sufferer, but I'm gonna say yeah, because I mean, if you're a general sufferer of existence, the moments of reprieve, and dare I say elation, you fucking feel them, dude. You know? So like, you're maybe able to capture a protagonistic energy more thoroughly, hmm. because you know it's counter as well, you know? Even just a sip on a glass of water can feel good when you've just been in hell all day, you know? It's all like a, a product of distance, I suppose. There's something in there. There's something in there that Toko said that I do agree with. Not to sound pretentious or, like I said, overgeneralizing or anything. It's hard for me not to sound pretentious most of the time. That's why I swear so much. to blow. Destroy them all with one explosion. Ooh, we don't know what destroyers do yet, really, though, right? We don't really know how they function. We do have our dance, though. So I think it's gonna be something to do with dance. Well, let's experiment. I don't really fucking care about these very much. Where are you? Oh, fuck. That's the one that I want to make dance. Wait, what the shit? Wait, no one gives a shit. Okay, dude. I don't even give a shit. Just fucking... Yeah, I failed. Yes. Yes, I failed. I think it's time to burn an eight. 
Whoa, it's a machine gun. That's awesome. And it feels OP, dude. That is a fanfare of failure, for sure. It makes me feel bad. And I don't do the thing. What is this? Mada Fujirus. Fujiko Yamada. A manga artist demon who made Tara Spy. Spa? Tara. Tara Spa. Before you kill it, make it write lots of manga and put you in a comic book. And if it complains, choke it to make it do what you want. It likes to draw naked pictures of boy demons, so give it plenty of bodies to draw, okay? It's gotta be Hifumi's, like, little brother or something, right? What the heck are you doing? I don't know, Toko. I do not know. It's just rounds back. Okay, so bottom right chest, we gotta check. And one kind of like northish. Going on here. Could it be? I wonder if those kids were also treated cruelly by their parents. <laughs> Even if they were, would it matter? Even if their parents were murdered, it doesn't give them the right to kill people. You're right. No matter the reason, this just—it's unforgivable. It's far too suspicious. Not just that; it's peculiar. I don't doubt the ringleaders had terrible childhoods, but I can't think of any reason for all these other kids to suddenly be motivated to kill. Aww. So, why are the other children going along with this? You're right. I have a bad feeling about this. Mind control? Or something? With the helmets? Why not, right? If they bunch up near the car, we can defeat them all in one go. Okay. Okay, so we need Homie to go first. So what, we draw Homie... Dance, move, electrocute? Homie dance, move, electrocute. How do we feel about it, squad? Does that mean these nerds... Do these nerds dance, though? Wait, it, does, it doesn't say destroy them all with electricity at once. Who cares? Who cares, dude? Am I going the wrong way? No, it's this way. Down, Toko. Oh, wait, did I do that wrong? Whoops! Damn it. Oh, who cares, dude? Who fucking cares? It's over. It's all over. Dude, go look at the cool guy, though. Why? What are you looking at me for, homie? Okay, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Hmm. Another game corner here. I mean, we need Dance Homie here. We need him so that he can draw the nerds to here. Right? And then once all these nerds come... No, okay, maybe we'll just do this now. Whoa, no shit, dude. 
Dude, get the fuck out of my way. Oh my god. It's a botch. It's a botch, everyone. It's a botch. It's a botch. The fucking botch. Hold on, I'll get him. I'll get him. Fuck me, dude. It's a botch. It's a fucking botch. God damn it. It's another arcade machine. Can I get him here? Well, I even got some other nerds over there. Cool. Now I should be able to just clean this up, right? Why did I get got? That was too close. You didn't say it once. You didn't say it. You gotta be clear with your directions. I don't give a shit. Also. I'm not bitter. Sad face. Or you Victoria Chase? I believe I can handle this riddle myself. Well, good, because I wasn't planning on helping anyway. All that for just a new skill? What's it do? Mario can run even when the hacking gun is ready. Run? That's not that useful. I don't give a shit. I don't care. Where am I supposed to go? Let's get there and do it swiftly. I gotta go through the alley in front of me. And keep heading straight. Wait, did I... What is wrong with my brain piece? set piece looks like a set piece to me oh dude dude all right coco it's been a while girl done can you be done jesus christ of this nerd. Back into my world. Scissors are a cool fucking weapon. It's like so violent and disturbing. Ta-da! The ones who survive the super famous battle royale are these six lucky students. Makoto Naegi, Byaku Togami, Kyoko Kirigiri, Toko Fukawa, Aoi Asahina, and Yusuhiro Yagakure. They are currently members of a secret evil society planning world domination. They are the enemies of the entire world. If you find them, call the toll-free number. 
S T A B K I L L. Stab kill. I should get a nice, ornate pair of scissors. And like, tie them to my calf or something and just walk around like that. Like I'm packing, you know? I'm gonna be pretty fucking effective. I love that sound bit. There's the blue building. Man, they gave me three fucking batteries for that shit? What the fuck? Blue building? Blue building? That one? It's that arcade machine again. Let's get a move on. The Monokuma kid has to be hiding here somewhere. Listen for the singing to find the brat. Okay, well, they're doing it again. They're doing the thing again. I can only use move. Oh, fuck. This isn't gonna be fun. This isn't gonna be fun. We're on a time limit too, right? Be careful so we don't get caught. There's no way it's in this first batch. It's got to be in the second batch. I need to turn around. Behind him. No way, dude! What are you doing? I'm retrying. That's what I'm doing. How did he know? How did he know? The game corner again? Be careful so we don't get caught. Or like, what am I supposed to do in this scenario? Do I like hide over here? Toko, Toko, what the fuck are you doing? Okay, so it's like just a proximity thing. Oh god. You just have to be like far away from the thing. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. It's that arcade machine again. Be careful so we don't get caught. All right, so that one is a moron. This one is not a moron. But I don't know what to do here. Wait. Cause he's gotta, he's gotta go left here before this other one turns the fuck around. Okay, we're Gucci, we're Gucci. Oh God, dude. How much longer is this song? Oh, you stupid bitch. You're so stupid. It's gotta be one of these, right? It's gotta be. Good shit. Good shit, dude. Monokuma's overheated. Break them all. No mercy. Happily, dude. Payday. Payday. Don't need it. Don't need it. Okay, so... Not particularly fun, but... This game isn't particularly fun, you know? So it's nothing new. Where's the door? Yes, this building, but how do I get in it? Head towards the... Okay, whatever. Piss save! Dude, we're rich. 
Oh god, there's so fucking many, dude. Erotically. You know that's the first one we're going for. Whee! Don't we already have a powerfully? Oh, I, I haven't even been looking at their skills. I've just been looking at the mono coins. They have, they list the skills here. Erotically was just 24 speed. That's pretty cool. 25 capacity. We don't really run out of bullets. 40 effect is pretty gnarly. These are all going to be too expensive. Okay. We're buying more cheap words. The only one we can get abundantly. Whee! Who cares? Thanks for your business. Thanks for your business, eh? Wee. <laughs> Piss save. TBs. Um, break is the one we use most often, so... Whatever one I had on previously. Wait. Gracefully. Erotically. It's a good combo, dude. Being graceful and erotic. Welcome to my bed. Wait, what is this? Dance? No need to particularly be quick about dancing. This one, we gotta throw the extra effect on. This one should be all effect, as far as I'm concerned. Maybe paralyze for effect, too. Let's put powerfully on paralyze. What do we think? Yeah. Let's make it nuts. Let's put anything on these. What's no? What does that mean? Oh, just like number of bullets? I don't care. I don't care. That was boring. You're boring. Somewhere we can get into the sewer. Hey, Kamaru, before we do that, there's something I want to know. Hmm? Anything. Uh, um, you said I'm your friend? Oh no, you're gonna regret that, Kamaru. She's gonna be clingy. Why do you ask? But I've been thinking it over, and I have to tell you, my number one is still master. Um, okay. But something like that. It's no good, right? Thinking you're not as important as someone? Toko, do you know what friends are? D don't patronize me! It's a relationship where people talk about love and go eat sweets together on weekends, become estranged when one of them gets a lover, then they learn to move past it and have a... Well, that's kind of right, but friends are more like... What? Never mind. I don't know. What the hell? Talk to me here. Well, I don't think you have to really define it right now. Just act like you normally do. Or don't. Act like anything else other than how you normally do. That would be better for all parties involved. But that's just... It's hard for me to accept it. It doesn't feel real. Am I annoying, Kamaru? The way I am now. Don't I annoy you? I, I couldn't be friends. Okay, yeah, you're right. See well, ya. How about this? Can I call you Toki? Toki. Who the hell is that? It'll be your nickname. She looks distressed about offering that. Oh, I... I've never been called by a nickname before. Well, other than insults. Never? Not even as a kid? Well... I hope we get along together, Toki. <sighs> what happened, Toki? Are you okay, Toki? Uh, it, it's fine. 
I will withstand it. I will go through this horrible friendship ritual. Now, say it again. Say it one more time. I will not retreat. This is anime trash at its peak. This is what we're here for. Toki? No, 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 it's, it's too much. Never mind. I'm just going to call you Toko again. Yes, thank you. The friendship was far too intense. Look at that sprite, dude. Oh my god. That is just like, that is anime trash brand of humor. That's why we watch anime trash. T to take something, you know, a seemingly socializable concept like friendship, and then extract out nickname. Nickname is a defining characteristic of friendship. And then having somebody who is improperly socialized, it becomes like this Herculean task to even just be called a nickname. And it's the, it's... The, it's blowing up of the small, you know? It, that, that is peak anime trash in terms of comedy. Something seemingly irrelevant becomes a monumental task to overcome. It's just silly, you know? It's just silly. Wasn't it a bad idea to do that? Yo, you're still alive? What have you? A crowbar? Bro, let me get that. Great laugh. Yes, I did it! Um... Uh, what did you do? I killed a child and destroyed a Monokuma all by myself. Doa is safe now. There's no need to hide anymore. Uh, you no longer need to worry about your families and friends being killed. You no longer need to see others killed. <laughs> you should all be grateful. Crying tears of joy that I've saved you all. She's completely gone. <laughs> My husband and daughter didn't die in vain. Thanks to them, I know Monokuma's weakness. Their deaths have been avenged. I think it's best to just leave her be. You're right. Yeah, sometimes it's better not to wake up from a dream. She killed a kid, dude. Oh, god damn it. Wasted a good shot on him. Looks like we can't go any further. The bomb inside her three. Yumi Kayakuda, the girl with a bomb in her womb, cannot love, and yet she has chosen. I want to fall in love with Shota. If I can just fall deeper in love with him, I don't mind if this body of mine burns away. However, a new character has feelings for Yumi appears. Motomoto Nikaido. Good name. Your life isn't only yours. My love isn't only mine. <laughs> a charred body of love. Or a living doll. Which fate will Yumi choose? The third volume of the fiery love story. Yeah, dude, do the same shit, dude. It's gonna be the same fucking conversation. Surprise me, game. Hey, are you the type who's okay with spoilers? What's going on? What, what brought this on? The third volume of The Bomb is so good. I gotta talk about it, but are you okay with spoilers? Don't mess with me. Okay, how many times do I have to tell you? I have no interest in manga at all. So, Yoko, the girl from the second volume, tries to stop Yume from gi giving in to despair. And she says this, Oh, it's so beautiful. Aww. I'm tearing up just remembering it. Oh, Yumi, Yoko, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> hey, Kamaru, come back to reality. Huh? Did you... You stop calling me Omaru. Uh, oh, did I? You're, you're probably just mistaken. Toko! No, I heard it right. I tried to call you Toki, and you knew that, and tried to call me by my name, right? What? You got a problem with that? You think I'm too gloomy to have a character arc? <laughs> no, it's not that at all. It just makes me really happy. Thanks, Toki. Ugh... <sighs> uh. S sorry, that slipped out on accident. You're doing it on purpose, aren't you? All right, kind of expanded upon the uh, the fuck do I do here? This looks like a thing. This looks like a thing. Correct. Is there a car on the other side? Oh, come on. It looks like another present. 
it's gonna be swap or whatever. And I can become that bomb, Monokuma. Blow up the wall. Yeah. Will they really give us another bullet already? Link, that's what it's called. Nice. Time for a... That's right. A tutorial. Looks like you picked up Link. Link is a truth bullet that can control Monokumas by taking over their cyber brains. It's not really fit for combat, but that doesn't mean you can't put it to good use. For example, you can link that bomber Monokuma and then use it to break open the wall. Also, you can release a link with the triangle button, Morty. No, your hacking gun can actually hack things. Use it lots. Doesn't look like it'd do any damage, but it might be of some use. Shut up, dude. Whoa, I love the heart, dude. Love it. Can I run? I can, dude. This is fun. How do I do a thing? Okay. I don't know why I thought otherwise. No, the wall, though, dude. What the fuck is going on right now? I'm gonna... F Can you just fucking die? Didn't realize that I should have thrown from a distance. Not that much of a distance. Dude, what am I doing wrong? Yeah. Sincerely, though. How am I fucking this up? How am I fucking this up, dude? Huh? Oh, like, hold on. Do I need to control him to there, unlink him, and then shoot him? I guess they do normally... They normally break shit down by dying. Maybe that's the ticket. No, I gotta do it a couple times. That better be it, bro. Nice. Everything comes in handy if you use it right. Even a Monokuma. Don't talk so rationally. Be broken and dejected and weird. That's why we like you, Toko. We gotta look for a place we can get into the sewers. Thirty-two burn? The fuck was that, dude? It didn't feel like a nice shot. Felt like you were being pretty fucking kind there, game. What's up, homies? Kill you from the back, dude. Nice. These destroyer monocumas have been at everything but the destroyers, you know. Was that just a loot? Was that just for loot? What was that for? There's loot and XP? This ceiling is going to collapse. Right? Use the same tired plot device twice. I won't allow it. Appreciate the meta. Appreciate the meta game. I think we haven't gotten spat, just straight smacked by a Monokuma like that in a fucking long time. Other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My 
this. It's like they're like prepping, prepping us for something here, right? What's up, dude? I got a nice shot. Is this gonna be a one hit? Nice, dude. Wait, where, where did you go? Oh, fuck. I got it too late, dude. I understood it too late. Are they gonna come back? Probably not. Hmm, what is he doing over there? Fuck, dude. Well, we're not gonna reload the save. Do we care about breaking this thing? Do we care? I guess we'll explore a little bit. Oh man, I gotta be on the other side though. Again, I don't think I fucking care though. I mean, we'll do it just in case something cool happens. You better not amble. You did not. The fuck? Better be cool, dude. Super quick something. Increase laser sight move speed. That's what we're doing, right? Be super snappy now. Oh, it is fast. That feels really good, dude. Heck yeah. We like that shit. It's another arcade machine room. Cool. What do? Do you think they will gather? Destroy them all with one. Explosion. We gotta use Link though, dude. So what? We Link homie here. Bring him there. But then I gotta get these nerds. Oh, fuck, dude. I can use Dan, so I guess we'll Link that homie first. Have him dance there. What, t two links? Is it gonna take two links? Is that what you're saying? Okay. Whatever, dude. Excuse me, gentlemen. The destroyer is nice. Oh, him too, dude. What the shit? We love that. I should do the trick. Good fanfare. I forget the reward for doing these things successfully. So, just more XP. Oh, did it not work? Okay, whatever then, dude. At me, dude. I don't give a fuck. Yes, you are. It's all, dude. 
Quit being a nut. Nice. Bro. Oh, no way was that a whiff. No way. I refuse to believe it. I'll just get you from the back, it's fine. I'm very much appreciating how they're just kinda letting me play the game now. Isn't it just going to get darker if we keep going? Shut up, dude. I thought you already overcame that. Memoirs of an adult in the resistance. Just as I thought, Haiji was right. There's a difference between courage and recklessness. My right leg got broken, my friends got killed. I was just a reckless, incompetent person. I wasn't even sent to start a fight, but just go scouting. I hate them. I hate those brats from the bottom of my heart. I want to kill them. I want to fucking kill them all. I would seriously fucking pay to see them die. I want to crush their little beating hearts with my bare hands. I want to pulverize their skulls into dust, even if it takes years off my life. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I want to kill them. I want to kill them. I want to kill them so badly, all I can do is just sit here and cry. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Wasn't okay for that psychopath. Hey, save. Ah, tours. That. I have a feeling I'm gonna need you. Oh, I can't get in there? Okay, no, I can. Hello, fellow bears. Yeah. Are they just like okay with a Monokuma doing this? Are they just like okay with it? Kinda thought I was gonna need him to do something. But no. But no. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No, get fucked, dude. Dude, butt shot. What happened? Big brother Leon, 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 big brother Leon. Big brother Leon, 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 big brother Leon. Leon was the ultimate baseball player or some shit? He was the first one who murdered someone in the first game. He killed Sayaka, the cute one. Big Brother Leon? What do we think that is, dude? Masaru? Masaru kind of looks like him. It's that arcade machine again. Sure is. Destroy the floor with an explosion. I mean, that's what it says, Toko. That's what it says. Wait, what are we looking at here, dude? That this, not that floor. What floor? So I'm gonna have to move that guy and put him here. Then what the fuck do we do thereafter? You have to start a chain Dude, stop solving the puzzles for me. Run, bitch. Should I throw a thing, do you think? 
I don't know, man. We'll try it. That didn't work at all. It's all fucked up now. Can I shoot through this thing? No, what the fuck? But I'd be I would be able to see this one. That's the ticket, dude. That's the ticket. There's an arcade machine over there. And now I can just stop and then kill this one, right? Shoot him right in his dumb eye. Come on. Come on. Oh, you shouldn't have fallen backwards, though. Is this the uh, aforementioned chain reaction? Nice. Wow. excited by all that destruction you're actually a terrifying woman deep down thank you Toko, look looks like we can get down now My... okay wow that sure was an impressive show for a virgin what, what does that have to do with anything <laughs> Is that supposed to make us like Kamaru more, that she's a virgin? Like, why else bring it up? Come on. If we go down this ladder, we can get down to the sewers. Yeah, but... Do you really intend to go back to those guys? We're fugitives, you know? If we go back there, we'll be captured with no questions asked. Well, maybe... But maybe not. Which one is it? If we explain ourselves, I'm sure they'll understand. We have the same goal. We all want to stop those out of control kids, right? And if it's for that cause, I bet they'll lend us a hand. And they'll rescue Biakia too. Wow, you've changed quite a bit. You really think those spineless cowards are going to risk it and cooperate with us? It will be fine. I'm more of a coward than they are. But I'm still doing my best. Well, if you say so, I believe you. <laughs> After all, we're friends. You look really scary when you say that. W what do you mean I'm scary? Fine, be that way. Let's just hurry up and get over there. Hey, wait, Togo! I was just kidding! Not really, though. She looks weird as fuck. Ah, shit, dude. You fooled us from the very beginning. It's no use acting like you don't know. I heard it all. <clears throat> Confess, you were lying to us the whole time. Breaking up or something? Why do that when there's plenty of other shit to break? Like cookies, glassware, the window at that girl you likes house. More than plenty, damn it! Sh shut up! We swore to make this town into a paradise. We promised that we'd change history. And this guy interfered. Changing history? I don't know. You seem pretty hysterical enough to me. I mean, what the hell's with you, Nagisa? What's up your ass? You know what, actually, don't answer that. I want to keep the ratings down. <laughs> Didn't 
I tell you to shut up. Hit him. Hit him. Was that a nut kick, dude? Good shit. Ooh, so scary. And what are you going to do about me? This is your fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. It's it's all your fault. Don't be mad, Nagisa. The one who sent Mr. Servant on his task was me. Huh? M Monica! What did you say? Ahem. Like I said, I was the one who asked Mr. Servant to help me. What did you tell him to do? I asked him to bring Miss Kamara Nagi all the way back here. You were lying, right? This is some kind of joke, right? Sorry. It's the truth. Lies. Why? Why would you do something like that? Oh, that's too bad. No matter how smart you might be, you still don't understand it, huh? But I guess that's to be expected. I never gave you a proper explanation. Explanation? What are you talking about? What needs explaining? We're going to make a paradise, right? And... And that's why we caused this revolution, right? Sorry, Monica doesn't care about paradise or anything like that. Dude, what's she on about? What? Oh, I guess you can say that the paradise I want and the one you want are different things. I have no interest whatsoever in the paradise where kids can live peacefully. S stop kidding around, Monica. What the heck is this? Sorry, but this is all for the sake of the successor to Junko and Oshima. Yes. Yes. Obviously. Huh? Successor? Yes. The second generation of Big Sis Junko. That's what I'm after. Mayim is different from Mr. Servants. But we agreed to work together at the beginning. So don't get so jealous, Nagisa. I don't understand. What are you talking about, Monica? It's fine, it's fine. You just have to keep doing your best for my sake. Right? For Monica's sake. Huh? Just Monica, bro. <laughs> A smooch? Look at his fucking face, dude. <laughs> Don't chew in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I totally stole Nagisa's first kiss. Dude, using first kiss as a power play? I wonder if that's the first time in fictional history. If for the sake of power, somebody stole somebody else's first kiss. What are you doing? You love Monica, right? You can't live without Monica, right? She's freaky, dude. Even like the uneven, ry uneven rhythm of her head shake there. Got a good hair bounce, too. She's fucked up, dude. So much. Sometimes you even have perverted thoughts about me. Don't. Right? Stop! Please, stop! You're glad you got to kiss Monica, right? Dude. If you work hard, I can do other things too, you know. This game insists on it, squad. They insist. Stay strong, Nagisa. You have such a hard time. Everyone has high expectations of you because you're so smart. And you even have high expectations for yourself. And you're always suffering from that, right? I said, don't come near me! But Monica won't expect anything of you. What? From the very start, I never expected anything of you. That's why I kept the successor a secret. After all, 
You're just a weak, weak little child. No one expects anything from. I said get back! Maybe nobody ever Dude, stop hitting her. You, in the first place. you probably just thought they did. Should we wait to see if the slapping ever stops? It's not gonna, right? Dude, he's hitting her hard. <laughs> Listen to that. Dude. Maybe it was all a misunderstanding. Come near me. Get back. Get back. Oh yeah, there's others in the room. Dude, she went for the tongue this time. Dude, she's chewing again. Monica's chewing again. If you want Monica to have high expectations of you, you gotta listen to Monica's requests, okay? So obviously it's a little dark and it's a little weird. Um... But I think that displays a certain panic in Monica to resort to that, you know? To like, base sexuality. To like, attempt to exploit that in Nagisa. That's a decision made out of desperation, not out of calculation. Unless that's the only tactic that would work against somebody as tactical as Nagisa. You have to exploit his base desires? I wonder. But I think Monica's cracking a little bit. For Monica's sake, kill all the adults. Risk your life for Monica. Isn't that nice, Nagisa? Damn it, dude. The tongue did him in. The tongue did him in. Hey, Poor boy. Uh what? We've been walking around the sewer so long. Do you think it'll be okay? What do you mean? Like, is this smell gonna stick to me? I'm starting to worry I'll never get it off. Huh, sorry. You don't want me to talk about smells, do you? No, it's just rude. Oh, this darkness is killing me. I'm sure you're fine with it. Being a sewer girl. Being a sewer girl? That's a good insult. Calling someone a sewer girl? I like it. I'm in. A girl's bond. Enemy paralysis time increases after despair time. Dude, we very rarely get despair time, dude. How to kill demons masterpiece number four is this Jotaro? Cut off one centimeter every day so that they die super slow. Pour 999 degree water onto their eyeballs to kill them. Stuff them into the dryer and turn it on. Imprison a bunch of them and make them kill each other. Kill them all. Kill, 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 killy, kill, kill. Fun, dude. Super fun, right? This is it. This is where the hideout is. Oh, I see a thing. Problem is the adults. I don't know if they'll even listen to us. I'm sure it will be fine. If we do our best to persuade them, I'm sure it'll work out. <laughs> the former you would have been sobbing and crying out, What? Toko, Tango! I don't talk like that! Well, even if you're bound to fail, I'll always proudly watch over you. Yeah, just having you here by my side is reassuring. You know I was being sarcastic, right? Ah, right. If you meant it as actual encouragement, then 
You're the one who's changed. That'd be no good. Having a dirty mouth and a heart of gold is like my thing. Uh, wait. Do you hear that? <laughs> what? S screams? Toko, hurry! The children are gathering. What's going on? I have a bad feeling about so... this. So, who's dead up there? Do we think? Do we think everyone? Do you think only main character survived? Children's Paradise Commandments 4. 1. Inscribe on your hearts the fact that the now is the most precious thing we have. 1. Do not kill pets with adorbs faces. And 1. Do not lose hope. Anyone who breaks the rules will suffer the punishment. Hide your video games somewhere you'll never find them. Cute. I mean, most importantly, is old no tits gonna be up here? I think she's got. Resolve. Kamaru, oh no, I'm gonna kill a bunch of people everyone. again. I'm going to do my best this time. Oh, that's uh, okay. Who's hurt? I feel like burn's pretty ineffective. Forgive me. I'll do anything. Oh, big whiff, dude. Big whiff. Shut up, Matt. Oh no, what happened? Oh shit, I didn't mean to Waste the important bullets. Alright, girl. Do the thing. Or wait. No, stop! No! Nick of time, dude. Do we think it's just an achievement to, like, save them all? Or do we think it influences the story? Because the latter would be annoying. Tragedy! I mean, it would also make sense for this game to make you feel bad in the face of that. Like it's actually impossible to save everyone? No, maybe not. Also, the little face things make it difficult. Oh, okay. Wait, dance is the one I want. Shut up. Why didn't why did this one get hit? They're not coming in from where we did. Oh shit. Man, I missed every one of those, huh? Wait, who? Who back here, dude? You're fine. I don't get it, dude. You are dead. Where, dude? In here? Can't go in there. What the fuck are you on about? Grab the battery, grab the battery. Oh, my controller disconnected there for a sec.
Oh, you're still kicking, bro? Get fucked, mate. Oh, you, bro? I actually like keeping those Monokumas around. The dance ones? Oh, fuck. Does knockback kill? Or does it only knockback? I didn't do very well. I did not do very well. Looks like it's all over. He, he, you're right. No, not yet. They want to destroy us all. They won't stop after this. They never will. Never? I'm just so tired, I don't know if I can keep up anymore. Um, I have a little proposition for you. Will you hear me out? What kind of proposition? The enemies aren't attacking from the front, but from the hole at the back of the base. To hold out against the enemy attack, we have to find some way to block the hole. Block the hole, but how? To tell you the truth, high explosives are packed inside my body in case of emergency. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> in a suicide attack? That is delicious. That is delicious, dude. But she's so yo, let's go. I can't do it on my own. So, there's no choice but to ask you to do it. You, you want Kamaru to shoot you so you explode? No, I can't do I, it. I can. But this is the only way to save everyone. I'm scared too, but it will be all right. It feels strange, but thinking about saving everyone, maybe that's not saying much coming from an AI inside a Monokuma. But it's the truth. And if it's for everyone's lives, then I'm not scared at all. So please. Okay, decision made. Let's go. But, but Bad news. The Monokumas are coming through the hole in the back again. I beg you, please, take me to the hole and let me save everyone. Heard. Let me pull the trigger, though. Me as the player. Oh, nice. Hold on. Oh, wait. Are we just following? I thought I was going to get to move. Wait, do we climb this because it's yellow? How did you... How the fuck did you... Damn, this base is fucking huge. Done. No, no, I can't. I can't do it. Kamaru, no matter how scared you are, there are times that you have to fight. There are times you need to stand up. Times you can't be afraid of death. Shirokuma. Do the martyr. Before we lose something important. Shirokuma. But if you still think you can't. It's like a boss Come fight. On, shoot me. <laughs> Just cries a little bit. This is fun. Is there a thing I'm supposed to do? I'm like low on the good one though. 
Is there something? Should I follow it up with something? Should I make it move? Should I actually give that a shot? Oh, okay. Just had to rough him up enough. <laughs> That's awesome. Blue Toko the fuck up too. You see that? Toko flew off the side of the screen. I'm gonna knock us both back. Huh? What just okay, she didn't go unconscious. Please tell me, Master Biakia. So you're awake. You guys lost consciousness after the explosion. Um, where's Shirakuma? What happened to him? Thanks oh, you to killed him. Shirakuma, the hole was blocked. His sacrifice saved us all. They're still alphabetizing the al adults. Sacrifice. All I need is the CO2 that Master exhaled. I, I can live on just that. Jeez, wake up already! <laughs> I know AIs typically sacrifice themselves in situations like this, but I didn't think... Break out of jail and come back here. <laughs> you have some courage. You? But we're the ones who saved you. You should be thanking us. Well, most of the thanks goes to Shirokuma, though I am willing to acknowledge that you're not spies. Th that's it? That's all you'll acknowledge? Now's not the time for this kind of argument. But thanks to Shirokuma, we're out of danger, for now. The problem's far from solved. What's going on? The hole those brats opened is closed now, but we have Monokumas at the front entrance. We can hold them off for a little while, but if this keeps up... So we're running out of time. Damn it. Do they really intend to destroy this base at any cost? So what are you gonna do? You gonna wait for an opportunity, as usual? Haiji, if we don't do something now, we... I know. I know. No matter how scared you are, there are times when you have to fight. Oh my god, don't get on a pulpit here, dude. There are times when you need to stand up and not be afraid of death. We have to do something before we lose something important. Toko, lend me your hand. Huh? Uh, okay. <laughs> I said I'd lend you a hand, not be your stepladder. <laughs> What are you doing? Oh no, don't make a speech. Don't make a speech. Don't do it. Um, please listen up! Huh? What is she doing? Um, uh... Go ahead. I don't have any talent. I'm just a normal girl. Not special or anything. Truth. And I know you guys don't have any reason to listen to someone like me. Truth. But, but, well... How do I put it? There's something I want to say. But, because... I'm a normal human. With no talent. Uh... I... I'm sorry, I, I really don't know how to put it. Hey, Kamaru! Toko, what do I do? Uh, you got up there. <laughs> what the fuck are you asking Toko for now? Why are you asking me? You didn't plan this out? Then what are you up there for? Yeah, I... I don't really know. For now, let me just say this. I'm with you, so do your best. Toko. Yeah. I. I'm just like everyone here. I got caught up in something I didn't understand at all, and I couldn't do anything. So I. I guess I'll just say to you what I wish I said to myself. Hey! How much longer are you going to be just another victim? Was that. Is that a moment of sincerity from Dongan Rapa? Huh?
You're normal. You're weak. How much longer are you going to use those damn excuses? This is exactly what Toko chewed her out for. You're just happy to be a victim and ignore everything around you. Are you really okay with that, you coward? Talent or whatever, that doesn't even matter. No matter how much talent or power you have, you can't avoid being scared or hurt. You let everyone else handle things that scare you and say, I can't help it, I'm normal. Are you really gonna stay that way forever? Maybe you can't help being normal, but you can't just keep using that as an excuse. If you do, if you do, someday, you're gonna lose something that's important to you, you know? And after that, it'll be too late. It's obvious that we're all afraid. I'm just as scared as you are. But even though I'm afraid, I know I made the right decision. To stay here with Toko, because if I just went and left her, I think I would have regretted it. Kamaru? I, along with Toko and everyone here, want a happy ending. A proper happy ending. That's super cliche and predictable, where everyone's smiling. Are we gonna get it? So please, please, let's make that ending happen. Let's stand up against this despair together. That, that's it. That's all I have to say. Sorry for Sorry being so loud. For being so loud. Good delivery on that. Sorry for being so loud. Well, feel stupid now. You just got told by a normal high school chick. Wait here. I'm going to make some preparations. Preparations? For what? Well, I have a trump card, and I might as well bet the house on it. A trump card? Oh, Togo. I feel like one of those lame kids who try to motivate everyone and fail completely. Eh, it was good enough. Not bad for your first try. Hell, I even feel a little... impressed. Really? Though, it was painful to listen to. So it was awful. Yeah. But, it looks like you were able to motivate the cowards here a little bit. You inspired me. I never expected you to start a speech like that. Oh, I'm sure I'll try to- Adult V's a loser. Later. But, you know, you might be right after all. Huh? Ooh, wait, hold on. <laughs> that you're holding? <laughs> this? It's Shirakuma, of course. Kamaru and Toko, thank you for earlier. And your speech just now was splendid, too. Shirakuma, you're alive? The only thing left is my head, but my AI chip is in there, safe and sound. It's a miracle. <laughs> it's not exactly a triumphant resurrection, but here I am, nonetheless. I heard... You sacrificed yourself. Well, that was pretty misleading. But I'm relieved. If you're alive, then everything's fine. <sighs> Looks like you made that traumatizing speech for nothing, then. Was it that bad? No, no, it was great. I feel like you gave everyone a little light of hope. But it's still a small light. In order to make it grow, we need to do something more. Take your top off. Hey. The preparation's done. We gotta hurry and get We're out of due, here. right? When's it gonna get horny? Get out of here? Huh. Looks like he's finally gonna start fighting back. Is it true, Haiji? That's all thanks to you, Shirokuma. You risked your life for us. I finally realize what I need to do. So thanks, Bear. Oh, Haiji. Looks like your speech wasn't that memorable. Aw, oh, don't say that. From here on, I want you two to follow me to a certain place. It's where our game-changing trump card is hidden. This better not be a deus ex machina, I swear to god. But it's not gonna be easy. You guys better prepare yourselves. Well, I guess I hardly have to tell you that. I'll be waiting for you at the entrance. Couple of things. One, I admire the restraint to just give us a sincere scene and not 
end it with a ridiculous punchline. I guess the Shirokuma thing was kind of a ridiculous punchline, but it was also still kind of sincere and heartfelt. Um, two, how much I respect the ever-living fuck out of Matthew Mercer. It's like, there is a thing to it, because I know Matt. Not personally, of course, but like I have observed him be a person for hundreds of hours. And that sounded creepy. I watched this fuck ton of Critical Role in every interview he's ever done. Um, I know, like, this is his shit, dude. You know, he gets it. He gets the weird fucking anime thing. He gets why this project has an audience and would be enjoyable to somebody. So, like, when he reads in the script, like, these batshit insane names and plot points and fan service and the rest of it, he's a fan, dude. Like, he gets it. And for some reason, me as an audience member, knowing that him as a performer does in fact get it, does give me some sense of solace or something in like the integrity of the creation. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, and thirdly, Kamaro, your speech was cringy as fuck. Do I care about what these people are going to say? Do I care? Is small tits dead? No, she's still fucking kicking, dude. Okay. Yep, you guys are just like I thought you'd be. Thanks to you two, the atmosphere of this place has really brightened up. It was creepy before. Mm -hmm. Really? I don't think we made the place any brighter. <laughs> she doesn't mean it like that. She means the mood of the place. She's saying that thanks to you and Shirokuma, the ambience here has improved. Yeah. Exactly right, Fufu. You're good at explaining stuff. Anyways, thanks, guys. <laughs> Shirokuma deserves the most thanks. Huh. Maybe, but you were pretty courageous yourself, you know. <laughs> well, if you say so. Thank you. Yeah, oh, Kamaru's yeah. pretty insufferable, dude. There, was that so hard? But I gotta say, compared to your sad face, you're much cuter like this. Oh, right. Did you find any more of these lists of people with wristbands? Wait, why wouldn't I hand them over? Oh, was, oh. Wait, I had the opportunity to do this before and I decided not to? Correct? What the fuck's wrong with me? Why did I do that? Okay. I'm not sure what this is, but I'm going to pee real quick. We'll do it in a sec. Okay. Let's see whatever the heck this is about. Taka kicks. My expectation about who this is... He kind of looks like the hall monitor... ...from Danganronpa 1. He was like the super strict, proud loser. He kind of looks like him. Except like... Older. And maybe on meth. Um... About this. Mm hmm. Oh, don't tell me. You're right. Yeah, it's exactly what you think it is. A hit list made by those kids for hunting down targets. Um, I picked it up on my way here. One of the children must have dropped it. <sighs> One minute they're going around killing adults, the next they're dropping their homework. Pretty creepy, but definitely childlike. But... It's beyond creepy, it's psychotic. It's like baking a delicious cake only to take pictures of it instead of eating it. Aww. Yeah. That is pretty crazy. Hmm. Um, setting aside the cake for now, let's take a look at the list. Yeah, why not? I don't get it, dude. Hey, hey. Well, I'll be damned. I never thought this guy would be in town. Yes? Do you know him? No. Nah, it's not like that. Look, read this. If this is true, this guy's father is the former Prime Minister. Hmm. I bet those brats just made that up. Jeez. You two don't remember? 
There really was a prime minister named Toranosuke Ishimaru. He was a genius, but didn't do well in school. Despite that, he became the prime minister. But in the end, a scandal ruined him, probably smothered by his own talent. I see. That could be why he was such an uptight idiot. Yeah, the hall monitor, right? No. But the problem is Takaki Ishimaru. I heard about him a little too. There was a big stir about him being a cop after his dad got caught. Folks wanted him fired. And now to top it off, he gets caught up in this hunt? How unlucky can one guy be? I hope he's safe at least. I feel for him, even if he is 5-0. 5-0? 50? Is that what she means? But that's neither here nor there. Tower Science Memorial, huh? Alright, I'll send rescue guys right away. Correct. We'll leave it to you. I'm sure he's afraid being all by himself. It's gonna be all right. Leave it to me. I'd give him the shirt off my back if he wanted. And with my charm? Is this gonna like, save them or get them killed? I've been fucked before. Cannon Dasu. She's adorable. Who is she related to? Maybe Kyoko or Ooh, damn. This girl's a super hottie. I admire girls like her. She looks like a manga heroine. G girls with faces like that are cheating. They're just piling on makeup. Probably true. 100 out of 100 of them do that and it's been that way for 100 years. Not entirely wrong. In the file, it says she doesn't wear a lot of makeup. Don't mess with me. The, the kids are probably just lying. They can't tell anyway. Huh? Why do you care if she wears makeup? She's cute. Isn't that enough? Wait, why am I blowing out my mic right now? Dude, my mic just resets sometimes. And it's fucking annoying. That was probably an insufferable five minutes or whatever. Hopefully that didn't do that in the middle of the shit. Anyway. Sorry. Why do you care if she wears makeup? She's cute, isn't that enough? <sighs> I hate girls who look like her. As an ugly girl, frustrates me when I see girls covering up with makeup. If you're ugly, be proud of it, damn it. That's the ugly girl way, be proud. It's gonna be alright. Oh, come on, Toko. You can't let that bother you. There's more to a woman than her face. What's going on? That's... That's not encouraging at all. I bet if this girl were a team manager, those guys would really be pumped up to win. But what kind of idiot would try hard at sports just to impress some hot girl? Hmm. Actually, I know one. Leon? Hmm? Hmm? An acquaintance of yours? Nothing. N not really, who cares? Huh. Well, high school boys are like that. They can live a whole month on nothing more than porn, fried chicken, and manga. Could it be? <laughs> so, does Makoto also... Yeah. No doubt about it. It's true of every high school boy in the whole damn world. But back to the point. Looks like our hunting grounds are unknown. Leave it hunting to me. Hunting grounds? Hunting grounds? I'll help you out. I'll convince some of the adults here to help look for her. Convince? Looks like an adults aren't any different than high schoolers sometimes. My mic's still fucked. Not sight. Neko Neko Maru. Yes. I think we read those already. That's why I'm blowing mm -hmm. through them. This is a cat, right? I'm not going crazy, am I? <laughs> nope, that's definitely a cat. You're right. It's a cat. Hey, hey. Well, shit. I never thought a cat would wind up a target. Well, those brats weren't originally responsible for kidnapping the captives, but they're still gonna use this cat as a target? That's pretty messed up. <laughs> and check out that name. Grand Boss something. That's one hell of a name. Yeah, I can't tell if it's fancy long or gaudy long. It's lame is what it is. The cat owner sucks at naming. Mm -hmm. Do you know who owns this cat? <laughs> Do I? No, I don't think so. You do, dude. Mm -hmm. Enough with this shit. 
Help, even if it's just a cat. I can't get the... I can't just let the kids get it. I'll send someone over. Even if that cat makes it all the way home, its owner won't be waiting for it. Hmm? Hmm? Did you say something? Nothing. Nothing. I just think this cat has a bad personality, that's all. Because she's dead, dude. Killed her. I think in the third tribunal? Danganronpa 1? Mana Fujiros. Mana Fujiros! That's impossible. What happened? Are you choking? Vacuum, get the vacuum. <laughs> no, this woman. It says she's the author of Tara Spa. What? Tara Spa? What's that? Hmm. It says she's a manga artist, so it must be the title of a manga, right? Not just any manga, a manga masterpiece. The drawings of food are so well done, it's said that reading it will make you start to drool. Yeah. Yeah, I feel I, like I saw my son reading it. Oh. So, her son. Her son. I still don't know who the fuck she's related to. So Teacher Second Fry was just a pen name for this woman. What a shocking scoop. Jeez, where did this, in this enthusiasm come from? This is big news, huge news. The end of the century is the next generation of space wars. What? But. Well, if she's that famous, I kind of want to meet her. If there's an opportunity, I'll be sure to get an autograph. Oh. Thank you very much. Oh, but make sure it isn't addressed to me. That will make the value go way down. Hmm. Exactly what you would say if you were going to sell the thing. Togo! There's no way I'd sell it. Don't downplay my respect of manga artists. What's going on? You don't have to take it so seriously. I think that's all I have for Hitless. I don't want to talk to these people. I'll talk to Shido, but outside of that. <laughs> that speech earlier, you were so cool. You spoke so well, I got goosebumps. You've really grown since I met you. <laughs> no, not really. The reason I was able to act so cool is because of the sacrifice you made, Shido Kuma. Oh? <laughs> I was that cool, huh? But you're still much cooler than me. <laughs> no, no, you were much more cool. What's going on? So, how much longer are you going to keep up this modesty battle? Agreed. I like this one with the paper, though. Oh, it's not a paper? Her ribs just hurt. Okay, we'll, we'll talk to um, one of them just to see the tenor of the uh, conversation. What did Mr. Hygie mean when he said he had a trump card? No. Beats me. First, I've heard of it either. Didn't you just ask him? It's far too suspicious. It's suspicious. He's had plenty of chances to use a trump card before now. Why didn't he even tell any of the other adults about um. it? Who knows, but it is Haiji after all. I'm sure the man has secrets. <laughs> secrets, huh? <laughs> I hope those secrets don't come back to haunt us. Womp womp. Fast forward. You better not betray us, bro. This is my last bullet. You hear me? It looks like the Monokumas are easing off a bit. Now's a good time to head out. Um, where are we going? Didn't I tell you? The place where our trump card is hidden. And just what the hell is this trump card? And why didn't you say anything about it earlier? I'm not trying to be cryptic. It's just hard to explain in words. It's much easier if you see it with your own eyes. Then you'll understand. I promise. Jeez, you sound like some manga protagonist from the 90s. Anyway, it's our last hope for stopping the kids before it gets any worse. If there's one thing I know for sure, this is our last shot. Does something like that really exist? I'm telling you because I trust you guys. And I need you two to trust me as well. Ah, so not only are you chicken, you're also a narcissistic bastard. However, getting there is going to be a problem. Let me think. You look like you're in better shape than her. I'll leave this to you. Me and Four Eyes will go in the back. It'll be cramped, but 
We'll have to deal with it for now. We driving? Are we driving? You got a whip, bro? What do you mean, leave it to me? I'm so it's in. Important that you don't freak out. If you don't, we should be fine. That's not an explanation. Didn't he just say not to freak out? I don't really get it, but you should prepare yourself. Wait! I haven't mentally prepared myself yet! Enough with the complaints. Let's just go. Nice. Yahoo! Let me drive. <laughs> Let me drive. Let me drive. I thought you'd be the one freaking out, Kamaru. I've never ridden one of these before. This is so fun. Why is Kamaru the one driving? She doesn't even have a license. I can't drive with my arm like this. It's not like cops are going to pull us over or something. Y you're right, but... Hey, listen. We never know when the Monokumas might attack next. Let's speed it up. Roger! <laughs> Cute. I wanted to drive, right. but cute. We're here. Oh, God. She just made it. She was just capable of doing it. Okay. We are? Where are we? Are you taking us to a secluded spot to, to do stuff with us? If that's your plan, hurry up and get it over with. <laughs> I won't resist. Um, no, that's not what I was thinking at all. <laughs> Especially not with you. <laughs> Yo, Mercer, with that performance. Ugh, with you. <laughs> I, uh, I like him younger. As young as possible. He said that before, or somebody said that before. And that's troubling. That's troubling given the content of this game. Already. Actually, can I leave now? Anyway. It's time. Careful of where you stand. If you talk, you might bite your tongue. Is this an elevator? You'd never expect such an elaborate machine here, right? That's how you know it's important. This is Toa Group's secret factory, after all. Secret factory? This place was restricted to top executives only. During emergencies, the restrictions get tougher. Now, the only ones who can move this elevator are me and my old man. I see. So not even the brats can get into this place. Who's your old man? Oh, the Toa guy. What is this? Um, isn't it about time you tell us what... You're hiding here? I've told you already. It's our last hope, and it's deep inside this factory. However, we do have a bit of a problem. It's the reason I was hesitant to come here in the first place. What? Just say it! In order to deter intruders and thieves, our family uses monokumas to guard the area. Monokumas? Ever since the riot, we haven't been able to contact the office that controls them. To what I can guess, the Monokumas here had the control functions broken. Bet they would even attack me like I was any other adult. Okay, just wait. Slow down a sec. Why are the Monokumas here in the first place? Didn't the kids bring them? Yeah, I expected this reaction. But you'll know the answer to that question as well once we're through here. You... you're being awfully suspicious. Yeah, probably. I even think so myself. But for now, will you please trust me? I'm begging you. You two are the only ones who can make it through here. You have to help. There's no way I can do it alone. But I'm, I took your words to heart. That I need to fight back. Hi, G. Toko, why don't we just try going there for now? I mean, we've gone this far already. He does anything I don't like along the way. I'm turning around and leaving. That sounds fair to me. The trump card is deep inside this factory. We need to take the elevator to the bottom floor. Heard. <sighs> what? 
careful. If you touch the lasers, the alarm goes off. You should have said that earlier! Yeah, why didn't he say that earlier? Siren Monokuma, or else he'll just keep coming. Oh yeah, I guess that was dumb. I guess. Am I out of range? What's the deal there? I need bullets, yo. Be careful. Don't get caught in the lasers, okay? Oh, trust me. I know. I saw bullets or oh shit, what do you want me to do? Again. Fuck! Oh god. Okay. Oh god, don't cut to a scene every fucking time. Don't do it, dude. I'm gonna get caught by that laser a fuck ton of times. Okay? You aren't doing it on purpose, are you? Because that would seriously piss me off. Oh, it's time for a piss save. Uh, I need bullies, dude. What was the incident all about? Though the tragedy that painted the world with despair showed signs of calming after the death of the ringleader, it has no com it is not completely settled. However, in light of current events, shouldn't we look back at what the tragedy can teach us and prepare for preventative measures? A thorough investigation to the worst, most despair-inducing incident in the history of mankind. Which reminds me. Oh God. You were abducted around the time the incident was escalating, right? So can I assume that you haven't experienced that incident? Well, by the time I was abducted, the world was already pretty messed up. The crime rate was high, the war had started, seven of my classmates had died. What? Do you mean they were killed by despair? No. I'm not really sure if they died, but one day, all seven of them went missing. And a little while after, someone mailed a package to the school. Thirty-five fingers were inside. That's horrible. They never ended up finding them. There's no way they're still alive. Because I went through that, I'm worried about my parents. Hmm. If your brother were here, I'm sure he'd say something like this. Do not lose hope. I see. Hope. Yeah, you're right. It's not like I know for sure Checo or my parents are dead. Huh? Checo? Oh, my friend who disappeared. Her name was Chieko. Ah, <sighs> oh, you had a nickname for her? Yeah, she was a pretty close friend after all. Your friend, Checo. Could it be? Are you jealous? What? Of course not. Don't even think it. Why would I be jealous of a girl with a bro big brother complex like you? Stop it! I told you, I don't have a big brother complex. <laughs> I'm sure you're just hiding it from me. Your favorite thing to say is, I love you, big bro. Oh, I also can't abandon the idea that you two eat all your food by mouth to mouth. What the fuck? Jeez, that's way past the big brother complex at that point. Time and a place, girls. Jesus Christ. Nice, dude. I need... I think I need break bullets the most. Where are the lazies? Where are the lazies, dude? We're gonna get got here. Where are the lazies, dude? Where are they? Wait, they don't go all too far. Is that really it over here? Okay, they end about here. So we'll go down and around. I don't think they extend this far. They do, though. Fuck, mate. We going. We going, dude. 
I don't fucking know. I need bullets, dude. I need bullets. Not burn. Not burn bullets, okay? No! Break bullets, dude! God damn it. What is this switch? Switch puzzles? Don't give me a tutorial, I, I swear to Christ. That door over there opens when someone steps on the switch. All right, four eyes. Step on the switch. Then Kamaru and I can go through. That would leave me behind. Yes. <laughs> damn, here they come. We gotta run for now. What do you mean, dude? Oh, you fucker, dude. You almost saved me a bullet there. Alright, everybody through. Everybody through. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I don't give a fuck if you guys made it through. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, we Gucci. We Gucci. Is this factory making some kind of machine? Looks like it. We're making a break for three, baby. Okay. Don't close it up. No, it's fine. It's fine. We'll make it. We'll make it. Fuck. Dude, enough with this scene, dude. I, I know. I know this information. I know what happens. Don't waste five seconds of my life. Where the fuck is he? Oh, it doesn't... Oh, he's too... F Done. No good. It's locked. You aren't doing it on purpose, are you? Because... This is a different room, right? Is this another piss save? Piss save, dude. Got our jack back. Whoa, dude, close shit. Oh shit, we're just gonna take it because we need these bullets. Dude, what the fuck, man? This isn't fun. This is annoying. Oh god, I need a fucking angle. I didn't even get the bullets that I wanted. We gotta, we gotta make haste now. This is free, free mobility. Oh my god. Didn't I tell you to be careful? Shut up. A wrinkly old demon who's been around like forever. It's got this organ that makes its head and the back of its ear super stinky, so be careful when you get close. There's also a rumor that it's one of the founders of the detective library with all the books and stuff. You should read Danganronpa Kirigiri to know more. Uh, that, that might be Kyoko's, like, grandfather or some shit. Where's the sound? Where did the sound go? Wait, actually, what the fuck? What's going on right now? Hold the phone. Hold the phone. What happened? Give me a sec. Give me a sec. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. The uh, game audio just died. So I quit and I reloaded. We're at the last piss save.
Should be good, right? They found us. Break the siren monokuma up there. Shut up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Shut up. Did I get him at least? Did I get him at least? And I'll take the level up. Are my levels okay? What the shit? Didn't I tell you to I be careful? You got me fucking anxious about the entire thing. Okay. Okay. They fuck off, us. dude. Break the siren monokuma up there. What if I just like don't though and just find where we need to be first? I'm not positive where it is. What are we doing? What are we doing right now? Okay. I should be a little more careful with one fucking health. This? Fucking annoying. Alright, I'll check the map. Shut up, Matt. Shut up. Back? Oh, back right of the room? Go! Get there, get there, get there! Nice, looks like an arcade room. I need brake bullets, please. Thank you. Nothing's going to happen unless you open the door with a switch. Destroy them all at once? So I mean... Can't use dance. Hmm. I don't care. I just remembered. I don't fucking care. Wait. It's not gonna stay here for very long, though. Why is he staying here forever? Let's use the elevator to go down. Heard. What's wrong? Don't you think this is strange? It's just like I thought. Monokuma's guarding the place. What they're making at this factory? Hey, what's the deal? The adults are all waiting for us back at base. Let's hurry up and get the trump card. Toko, what do you think? We've come this far. There's no choice but to go for it. I'll be the judge of this hope. Oh 
more lasers? Still lasers. What the fuck about burn ammo, dude? Uh, there's gonna be a thing. The Northwest. So obviously we should go investigate. I just got got by the... Don't argue. I feel like... I've seen these parts coming out so before. Is it just me? Oh my god, dude! I got a heart left. Nice, it's Sako, dude! She calls me unfashionable. You only look good in white socks if your virtue is still white, honey. On your wear. Here. Yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run to where we gotta be, and then we dismantle. Oh, come on, game. Oh, it's gonna be the thing. Wait, what, why isn't it the thing? Run! Why didn't I get to do the thing? Because it was an explosion, maybe? Uh, this is probably my least favorite section in the game so far. This is fucking annoying. And very unfun to do. They found us! Break the siren monokuma! Up there! I feel like... I've seen these parts coming out. We gotta grab the Sako again. I don't know fucking why. Is it just me? Chucker keeps his pants on. Did I miss? Oh my god. Rough no one, good. mate. It's locked. Shut up, Matt. Shut up. Didn't I tell you to be careful? Shut up, dude. It's that arcade machine again. Electricity? So I need to get him. Wait, I... Wait, oh, I'm, I'm here on the left. I thought I was down here. Okay, okay, okay. You gotta run there, bro. You gotta run there, bro. That had to work. Good.
Back to the fun room. Nope. Sorry, girl. Oh, we gotta go down to B4. Fuck, dude, it better not be four fucking floors of this. No way. I'm not doing it. I'm safe. I'm safe. Nice. Wait, not that one. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Go 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 go. There's an arcade machine over there. Yes, dude. I know. I know. But if you do it just right, you can wipe out all of them at once. This is the kind of shit that I was hoping for. Okay. So, this guy, we're gonna... He's the one that doesn't move. Unless can, we can move the ball boys. I think what we're gonna want to do is... If we control him... We need a shot, though. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Okay, we're here. Okay, so we're gonna want to run around back. Shoot him. Put him on the switch. Hit the this thing that attracts them all. And then this will be open. I guess we just run back and knock back, right? That doesn't seem complicated, though. It seems like they're gonna trick me. I was seen. This is gonna be a problem. Does he unsee me at some point? Like, if I walk back in here, does he say, ah, uh, forget about it, dude? He doesn't. He doesn't. The game corner again? So... He's looking this way. Oh, okay, I think I probably just ran while whilst he was looking. Okay, dude. That's so dumb that that one thing ruins it all. Hmm. Another game corner here. Okay. We should be good. We should have all of this. Is this gonna be enough, though, dude? Hmm. That counted? What the fuck? I disagree. Testing. What the fuck, dude? Hmm. I'm gonna have to figure out this insane mic resetting situation. Maybe we'll call it at the next save point. So I can double shoot a little Let's bit. Let's take the elevator down. Just a bit further now. I feel bad not checking everything. Check out that room real quick. They found us! Break the siren Monokuma! Up there! Uh, 
Fuck. Far away, dude. He's so far. No, he's done. Are you kidding me, dude? I don't feel like doing any of this. Investigation of Genocide Jack. With the mastery of killing that can even be called artistic, Genocide Jack changed the world. The rumors about him that flutter about are innumerous. Online, they talk about him as if he were a mere urban legend. However, he does really exist. In this book, we address the rumors, study the motives, and created the killer's profile. Genocide Jack is alive. Amazing! I didn't know you were so famous they made a book about you. I'm surprised. Where's IG? What's going on? Does it really matter? <laughs> well, thinking of you as a celebrity makes me want to act more formal. Nothing. Being f famous for something like this doesn't make me happy about happy at all. I wish I never had the other me. Hmm? But why did Genocide Jack get you in tr get into you in the first place? Huh? Get into me? What are you talking about? Um. I mean, identify identity disorders are like that, right? Was there a reason for it? Like maybe your soul switched when you got hit by a truck or something? There's no way something that ridiculously sci-fi would ever happen in real life. They're doing it again. They're doing it again. It's true that she's inside me, but she didn't come in from the outside. She's more like a personality I created out of suppressed emotions. <laughs> that sounds kind of sci-fi to me. But if that's the case, what was the reason you suppressed your emotions? My mother. My mother's fault that she was born inside me. Never thought of them as my real mothers. Not even once. Hmm? Wait, them? As your mothers? Don't you mean your mother and father? <sighs> I'm a novelist. I wouldn't misspeak like that. I said them, and I meant it. I have two mothers. Um, oh, did your dad remarry or something? No. no, he wasn't remarried to begin with. Sounds complicated. At the hospital where I was born, a baby born the same time as me died from a medical accident. Not so uncommon, however. <laughs> through some mix-up, the hospital wasn't able to determine which mother's baby had died. And that's why I have two mothers. You get it now. That, that, that is fucked up. But wait, wouldn't they be able to find out which child was which with a blood test? But... Both mothers declined the exam. A loving mother wouldn't want to face the possibility that the baby who died was theirs. Damn, brutal, dark, awesome. Oh, my controller's going out, dude. Something whack is going on with my PC today. Dude. Dude. But both of them wanted their child to die. Wanted their child to die. They also discovered that both women had slept with the same man. What the fuck? Of course, that would be my father. I mean, who could have thought an ugly and pure woman like me would have a player for a father? Don't mess with me. Th that was a prime opportunity. You were supposed to object, object to the ugly and impure part. You making that face is just making me feel worse. Sorry. Sorry, I just can't even imagine. Dude, it reset again? Okay. Session over for sure. Anyways. Oh my god, I hope this fucking video is just not absolutely torched. It might be. Anyway, because of all that, my daily life was full of stress. For a while, I turned my negative feelings into novels, but it got harder and harder to release the feelings that I couldn't bury with my novels. Genocide Jack was born. Um, wow, that's a pretty amazing story. Well, well, I'm sure my extraordinary birth helps a lot with writing extraordinary novels. But thinking back on it all now, I don't think it was that big of a deal. Um, Toko? Oh, you don't- don't you dare get weirded out by my story and try to change the subject now. Y you're the one who asked, so you're gonna wallow in these bad memories with me, damn it. No. No, it's not like that. How should I say it? I like you, Toko. <laughs> huh? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, sorry, that came out a little wrong. But- I like you as a friend, Toko. What did you want to say? Forget it. I'm gonna keep on about my misfortunes, but I seem to have forgotten. That's a pretty cool story. Fucked up, but... Pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna save and call it. I wanted to get to the end of chapter four pretty fucking badly, but... Tonight's not the night. Don't do it. Some night soon. North of 15 hours. This is a pretty long game.
The triple save. Okay. But yeah, apologies if the audio is just fucked throughout all of that. Or even inconsistently. That's fucking so annoying to listen to. It's happened in the past, but... I'll figure it out. That was Ultra Despair Girls Night, what was it, 5? I think? Um... I kinda just wanna beat it. So maybe next time... We'll see it through to the end. I know games like this normally have a very drawn out ending. So we'll see. We'll see what we're in for, but hey, tune in for some more Ultra Despair Girls next time. For sure. It's a, it's a blast outside of those fucking things that go beep beep and hold me up from my shit. Keep me from doing my shit. Everything outside of that. Decent at worst. Pretty good at best. I'm enjoying my time. Um, yeah, I'll start compiling thoughts. You know, this is a hard game to think through, I think. Despite how, in many ways, it just feels inane. I think if you play with ideas presented here, you'll arrive somewhere meaningful, I think. So yeah, anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.